Hi guys, this is Maya from Conspired Life and today I'm bringing you a numerology forecast for June. So let's get to it. Is it weird that we are already in June? Yeah, it is. Where did this year go? I mean, does anyone else feel this way? I think it's pretty crazy that we are already in June. But honestly, I'm kind of loving it because finally we have the sunshine and we have summer coming. So this is definitely my happy time. So I'm excited to bring some also exciting stuff about June according to numerology. I love numerology because it basically confirms how I already feel and what I already know, like what is already kind of happening in real life. So I hope it also gives you some clarity on what is going on in your life. So what I'm going to talk about here is basically general, the external circumstances of this month. If you want to get deeper into it, I really suggest you check your own personal month. I actually explained this in my numerology cycle video and I will link it in the cards above so you can check it out but what I'm going to talk about today is just the general feel what is happening and it's perfectly aligned because we have actually gotten out of the quarantine in France uh, in middle of May but things are slowly getting back to normal so June does really feel like the beginning of the cycle and it really is so when we calculate the current year and the number of the month we will get number 10 and if we reduce it to a one digit number we would get one <laughs> so this means new beginning is upon us so a lot of things are changing and that's good we're heading in a different direction and it's perfectly aligned as i told you numerology kind of confirms what is already happening and that is that we are all entering a new normal things are changing there's definitely a sense of a new beginning in the air and it's really up to you how you want to use this energy so in may i encouraged you to kind of clutter let go of anything that is no longer serving you so that maybe you know quitting a nasty habit i think a lot of us spending time at home we were clearing our spaces <laughs> i know for me i was seeing all the things that i wanted to change in my place but i couldn't actually go to the shop because literally the shops opened just a few days ago so i was only able to uh, make those changes just recently so that could be it new adjustments in the home or maybe we're able to start new projects for example i had one collaboration that was set up just before the quarantine i can link that video as well because i was so excited to get started and then we entered the quarantine and the whole project was stopped but i actually reached out to this uh, person to check if the project was still going on and we are back on so i really feel like things are starting to move forward and that's the general feel of this whole month things are moving forward there's a lot of action there's a lot of things happening and we are called to step up we're called to take that step forward and there's uh, just a general feel of the new beginning so if you wanted to start your business uh, start a new job or maybe you're changing the career or maybe you know you are starting a new relationship obviously we had to social distance so maybe now it will be more possible or maybe your relationship will reach a new level or a new stage you know so that can also be a sort of a new beginning it doesn't mean you're gonna break up it can be a new sense of being you know and maybe you'll start a new habit uh, whatever it is it's perfect timing to do it <laughs> so three tips to help you navigate the energy of June first thing is definitely be courageous and take action you need to take action now is not the time to procrastinate you gotta go for it whatever it is that you want to do don't think too much about it the circumstances are probably better than they were in a few months and if you needed a green light to go for it you are getting it now or you will get it throughout the month that can mean getting an offer or being contacted by someone or if you see some opportunity that you've been thinking about send that email contact the person it's really important to kind of step out of your comfort zone and just go for it tip number two self-care <laughs> 
So maybe during this quarantine, we came to a conclusion that maybe we need to take care of our bodies better. Maybe you want a different hairdo. If you want to do a makeover or if you want to change your style, it's a good time to do that. So introducing healthier habits, changing your look a little bit, reinventing yourself. It's a new beginning. What do you want to do? <laughs> how do you want to present yourself in the world? But the key is actually here. How can you show up in the world as your authentic self? Like, how can you really shine your light? You know, just taking care of yourself and maybe introducing some healthy habits that can help you maintain your vibrant health and feeling good and looking good and just being your fabulous self. <laughs> Tip number three is plan ahead. This is a new beginning. In numerology, we talk about cycles of nine. So if you take that into consideration and this month is number one, plan ahead. So think about where you want to be in nine months time, or at least by the end of this year. So whatever you're doing this month is going to set the tone for the next nine months. So think carefully where you're going to direct your energy, stay optimistic, stay focused on what you want and everything will be fine. You're planting the seeds of what is to come. So dare to dream big, you know, really go for what you really want. If you can find a way to step up in a brand new way and show up in the world as your authentic self, this is a time to do it. Okay. And this is going to bring results for you in the next few months. We're going to have ups and downs. Life is like that. Okay. Life is up and down. You always have those oscillations, but if you stay focused on what you want, no matter what is happening around you, you'll get there. Consistency is key. If I've learned anything in my life is that consistent and focused energy will bring results. It really does pay off. You just need to keep it up. But today, this month, decide what it is that you want to do. Guess what else happened? I pulled a card for my newsletter actually, and guess which card I pulled? The card says, what do you desire? It's perfectly aligned with numerology. It's absolutely crazy how it, every time it really works. It says, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you are ready and deserving of them, they will rush into your life as if by magic. And it's absolutely true. Get clear on what you want. Decide that you're going to do it and go do it. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and consider subscribing. Your support means a lot to me. It actually does make a difference. And if you really want to take it further, you can buy me coffee or sign up for my Patreon memberships. I really would appreciate it. And I would love to see you here next Sunday. All right. Wishing you an amazing June and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.